Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. This particular message is for the ladies. 1 Kings chapter 21. It's going to start off with ladies, please don't do this. Then it's going to move into ladies. Here's how the principle can be applied for the good. This chapter really shows how Jezebel messed things up. I'm not going to read the entire chapter to you because essentially most of the chapter deals with the message. Essentially, her husband, King Ahab, wants a plot of land. The guy says no. Jezebel's like, why are you down? He's like, well, this guy won't let me sell me his land. And she's like, you're the king of Israel. Get up. Get over yourself. I'll get the land for you. And she arranges to have the man killed, and she successfully does so. Elijah calls Ahab on it because um, Ahab is held responsible for what for what happened. And my thought is he knew what his wife was going to do. He knew how things were going to go down. He was absolutely, when he found out that, that that man was dead, there's no way he was like, oh, my, my sweet, lovely wife has nothing to do with this. There's no way. So he was held completely and totally responsible for that. The verse I will read for you is all the way down in verse 25. It's 1 Kings 21, verse 25. But there was no one like Ahab who sold himself to do wickedness in the sight of the Lord because Jezebel, his wife, stirred him up. Ladies, that is what you should not do. You should not stir up your husband to mischief, to unrighteousness, to wickedness, and certainly not to something like murder and abuse of authority. Especially not the murder part, for goodness sakes. The, on the positive side, ladies, you have an ability to stir us guys up. You motivate us. You drive us. You push us. And it can be in the right direction. You don't have to be a Jezebel. Please do not be a Jezebel. You can stir up your man to greatness, to be the best he can be, to love God, to love this world, to love his job, to love what he does to use his power and humility and mercy and grace to execute proper and righteous justice and judgment in this world. Ladies, use the power you have on us in a positive and good way. What would break my heart is if the woman I choose one day ends up like Job's wife, much less like Jezebel, and in the middle of hard times, says something stupid like, curse God and die. Read Job chapters 1 and 2 for the beginning of just the horrible things that happened to Job, which God did completely allow Satan to do in order to test him. Don't be that woman, and most certainly don't be a Jezebel like, yeah, that guy over there, just kill him and take what you want. For goodness sakes, don't be like that. But also don't be, don't be an ignorant and foolish woman. And encourage your husband to do something stupid or foolish or against God like Job's wife did. Don't put me in a position where I have to say, you sound like a stupid, ignorant, foolish woman. And don't, don't put us guys in a position where we have to rebuke you like that. We don't like doing that. We love you ladies. You're a great source of encouragement to us. So please be the industrious, hardworking working women that we believe you can be. And that God believes you can be. Be the very best you you can be. And live for Jesus. And don't be a Jezebel. Don't be a Jezebel. Thank you all very much for watching this video. Especially you ladies. I love y'all. And God bless.